Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, if we look at discriminants, we are really talking about the minus B formula. Okay, so if you remember the minus B formula, that is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, it's this piece here under the square root sign that we call the discriminant. Okay, in other words, b squared minus 4ac. Okay, that piece, the b squared minus 4ac, tells us what type of roots a quadratic will have. Remember the minus b formula is used to find the roots or the solutions of a minus b or of a quadratic. Okay, this piece here underneath it tells us the type of roots. Okay, so I suppose what do I mean by that? Well, you can have real roots. Okay, um, so you can have two real roots. And you get that when b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, okay? Or in other words, when you have a positive number here under the square root sign. And if I was to plot a quadratic, any quadratic at all, that is an example of two real roots, okay? And of course, they don't have to be one negative, one positive. They can be any way at all. But that is an example of two real roots where we get two answers for x. OK, x equals and x equals, just like you would when you factorize or you solve the minus b formula in a quadratic. OK, so that's the first case. That's two real roots. OK, the second case is when you get equal roots or sometimes it's 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 called one one real root okay and this happens when b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0 okay now what does that look like if i'm going to plot it well again there's any kind of a quadratic And in this case, the function would sit right on the x-axis, okay? And it could be it could be a sad face. It would look something like that, or of course here, okay? But you can see that it would be equal roots. So if I had a bracket, for example, it would be something like that. I would have the same values in both brackets so that when you solved them, you would get x equal to two, x is equal to two, okay? So you can see that's why sometimes it's called equal roots and the other time it's called, you'll see written as one real root, okay? It's when both brackets offer you the same value and if you were to plot that, that would look like the function sitting on the x-axis like that. Okay, so that's the second condition, equal roots. Okay, and then the third condition is when uh, b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. Okay, and these are called no real roots or they could be called complex roots. So when b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, we get no real roots or what's called complex roots, okay? So there's a chapter in on your leave insert course called complex numbers, and this feeds into this, um, into this section, okay? So what would a complex roots one look like? Okay, it would be something like that. Whereas it still is a quadratic, it just, it never comes down far, en far enough to cut through the x-axis, okay? And if it was a sad face, it would, it, it would just be the other way, okay? It should never again cut through the, 
the um, x-axis. So these legs of your quadratic go on forever, but because it never cuts through the x-axis, you never get solutions that says x equals two and x equals two, okay? So it's like where the, the solutions to it exist on a different plane, okay? Um, and it belongs to a different set of numbers then called complex numbers. Um, and if you look in the log tables, we have them here actually, um, you'll see natural numbers, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, they all belong to real numbers. Okay, and then outside of real numbers is our complex numbers. So complex numbers are not real. Okay, all of these can be written as a complex numbers, of course, but complex are not real. Okay, and you'll get to that chapter in due course. It happens when b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, that means in practice that when you get the square root of b squared minus 4ac, for example, you get a negative number. And if you just pop onto your calculator now and you try getting the square root of a negative number, for example, the one I've written down there is minus 64, you will get a maths error. Okay, so there are ways around it, but that's what happens when it's no real roots. So if you're asked to solve something and figure out if it's got real roots, uh, you'll be getting the maths error if it has no real roots. And the answer to the question normally in that case is no real roots because the discriminant or b squared minus 4ac was less than zero. Okay, so that's the really important piece of theory that sums up this. So I'm going to take you now through some questions on discriminants. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.